Class is now in session. Everybody settle down, settle down. Hi, my name is Steve Saylor. I am a few things online, but uh, I'll just give you the highlights. I'm a self-published author. I'm also a podcaster at uh, This Week in Geek, found at thisweekingeek.net. We've been podcasting for six and a half years. Since January 2007, we have over a thousand episodes, and we talk about everything geeky and nerdy. Uh, and that actually led into a career working in radio at a Toronto radio station called Boom 97.3. I produce content for the website, and that even led into sort of a bit of a kind of side career. Uh, I am a professor of new broadcast media at Humber College in Toronto. Basically, I get to teach radio students how to be able to use social media and new media properly. I guess you call me Professor Saylor, uh, which is sort of still weird to me. Uh, anyway, now I say all that, there's a lot of things I'm passionate about, and I'm passionate about a lot of things geek, especially with This Week in Geek. We talk about a lot of cool things, and one of the things that has gotten me so excited is role-playing games. I love role-playing games. They combine a lot of the things I love, storytelling, playing games, hanging out with friends. I've been playing role-playing games off and on for the past 10 years. You can never have too much dice, but I'm gonna show you actually one of my favorites. This is, this is really cool. This is actually, you can get this off of thinkgeek.com. It's a critical hit D20 die. Now, if you land on a 20, whoa, that proves that you're awesome. <laughs> This past year, I created a show based on our podcast called These Warriors Are Terrible, where it's just me and my friends, and we record ourselves playing role-playing games. So today, I, I wanted to be able to vlog about my passion for role-playing games and just kind of start you off on the uh, essentials that you need in a role-playing household. And being a professor, I guess, I actually love to be able to kind of outline things, and um, but I don't, I don't think I'm dressed for the occasion. Um, hold on a second. There we go. Put my classes down like this. And class is now in session. Role playing games 101. Today's first lesson Steve's role playing session House Rules of Ultimate Importance. I'm not kidding around. Rule number one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rule number one is to have fun. I want to make sure whenever I'm playing a game with somebody, I want to make sure that they're having fun. Rule number two also, have fun. Weren't you listening to me in rule number one? I'll send you to the principal's office. They'll, they'll kick you out. Do stuff. They'll knock your character out into like level one, which is not good. You don't want that to happen. Because if you're a mage, you can only cast one spell a day. That's, that's terrible. You're going to be useless to the party at that point. Just saying. So follow rule number one. And if uh, rule number two. Number three introduce someone new. This is more core to what I like to have in any role-playing session I play in, uh, is to have someone in the group that is brand new to role-playing games in general, or just brand new to the system that you're playing. Uh, there's multiple different types of systems. There's not just Dungeons and Dragons. There's GURPS, there's Pathfinder, there's Shadowrun, Classic D6, which is usually Star Wars West End games, but there's also the Open D6 project. So there's a lot of different systems that not a lot of people have played before, so it's always great to be able to introduce someone new to it, because you can show them the passion that you have for role-playing games, and they may want to be able to join in, and they may find a cool passion for role-playing games too. And they may be able to influence their friends, and it just it goes on and on and on. Rule number four, don't rule Nazi. This is what kills a lot of role-playing sessions because of arguments over specific rules. You're interrupting the flow of the game, and it just is not fun. A lot of people break uh, groups because of it. A lot of people are, are kind of separate from uh, role-playing games, and they stop playing because of stuff like that. And number five, don't be afraid to ask questions. Even if you're, if you're a brand new player, a seasoned player, or even the game master, don't be afraid to ask the group questions. If you're not sure, ask. There's been many times I would play a game and I was so afraid to be able to ask a question of anybody because I would feel that that would be called stupid or I would be laughed at because I didn't know uh, a certain thing about a certain aspect of the game. It's not fun to be able to play a game if you're not allowed to ask questions if you don't know. So that's it for me. That's the end of the lesson. Phew! I can take this off. So that's it for me. Uh, if I want to be able to talk more about role-playing games, so come back, Professor RPG, Professor Sailor, and I'll talk about lots of stuff about how to run your first game, uh, whether a shorter campaign or a longer campaign is the way to go. So come along with me, enjoy the journey of role-playing games. As always, I remain obediently yours.